So into stock, we have this Piaggio Vespa 300 GTS Super. So it's an A2 compliant bike. So one owner, uh, 2018 on an 18 plate, got good service history, and it will go through the workshop and have 12 months MOT for the new owner. So we'll go around the bike, show you the condition, and then we'll do a start up. Um, if we start here at the seat swab, there's no marks, no tears at all. And then the dash here. This particular model does come with the ASR, which is um, Piaggio's sort of traction control, and it has ABS as well. On the top here, it has a quad lock um, phone holder. So if you have a quad lock case, you can just uh, put it onto that. Running around to the front of the bike, you have an original Vespa short uh, visor there. LED lights on this one. When we start it up, we'll show you that. No dents or marks or anything at all showing on the side there. And the same with the chrome and the exhaust. Really good tyres, front and rear. Michelin tyres, lots of tread left. I would say they're pretty new, the tyres on these, and that's front and rear. The running boards, all very good. As you can see, the battery goes underneath, is underneath this part here. So coming around to the front of the bike, around on the silver trim here, just around on the top here, you can see there's a little bit of a sort of a mottling. I'm guessing some uh, water or something has got under there at some point. It's very minor, but it's worth mentioning. Coming to the front tire again, it's a Michelin tire. Very new, very good condition. The bike has had a fender extender fitted, which obviously helps with the, uh, not splashing so much water up underneath the bike. Front is all very good, nothing worth mentioning, no scratches. Dropping down this side, the front fender's all good. Very tiny mark on the end there. Say so ABS and ASR, so ABS brakes and the traction control. Coming through to this side, some very small marks along here, but you really do have to look closely to see that. The engine casings are all very good. So we're starting at the back of the bike, run our way over. So if we just begin with, unlatch the seat, Good storage space underneath the Vespa, crush helmet, shopping, waterproofs, and the fuel obviously goes in here. And then you push the key in to release the glove box at the front. And again, a bit of storage space in there for your phone or whatever you may want. So if you start the bike up, you have to pull one of the brakes in. Starts on the button. So it's done 9,870 miles. ABS lights flashing at the moment, obviously once you ride away and get it up to sort of five miles an hour, that then goes out. Very difficult to rev these when they're on the center stand with the ASR, because as soon as you rev the engine, it cuts it out because of the uh, traction control. If I demonstrate that. See, it feels that the, the rear wheels is actually slipping because there's no uh, resistance and then it just turns itself off. But no nasty noises from it. And as I say, it will go through the workshop um, before it goes out and have 12 months MOT. But everything sounds as it should. There's no major scratches or anything that will uh, warrant um, being worried about. Comes with LED lights and the uh, daytime running lamps as well as you can see. 
we go, 2018, one owner, super condition, and it's available now.